Hello, this is Woody Adams here with Intuit, and thanks for watching this video. We're going to focus on QuickBooks Online and something that is in the plus level that you might really like um, in terms of job costing or being able to track your projects or jobs that you do for customers, even your expenses and time, and be able to pass that through an invoice. And I'll also talk about estimating as well. A couple preferences you want, though, and then let's look at the customer center, set up a job, we'll run through a few things, and we'll report on it. Fair enough? So company preferences, uh, first thing is expenses by customer. Check off this box. This will put a customer field on your expense transactions and where you incur your cost and you want to assign it to a particular customer or quote unquote job. Use, and then there's also, also a checkbox called use billable expenses. This will actually have a billable box and that basically will allow you to pass it through to an invoice and you can put in a markup rate if you want, choose a billable expense account, also in plus, there is the time tracking. You can bill customers for time. So for any time that's put towards the project or the job, you could also invoice against that or report on it. Now time is time in QuickBooks almost until you put it on a posting document. So you'd have to write a check or enter a bill to your subcontractor for that time and that would be cost, but it would assign it to the particular job. So you can really get a good idea of your profitability by job or project. Now, how do you create a job? Though no real job field itself, if I go to the customers in Customer Center, you can go ahead and just choose the particular job on, you know, a name. So let's do a new one here. I'm going to click New, and this one will be, you know, I don't know, some kind of landscaping. And just call it, you know, landscaping work or job two or something like that. And I'm going to choose it for a sub customer is going to be Ray. And I'm going to bill with the parent. And that's the name. And that's basically all you have to do. You can put in some other information, but that's all I'm going to do there. Click save. And there's my landscaping job. Now I want to go ahead and create an estimate for the work I'm going to do because I can do that as well. So again, estimate. And I'm going to choose the landscaping work. And we're going to go ahead and you know, we'll do the 18th some lawn mowing and that was just an hour then the 19th we're going ahead to plant the tree again an hour and I also need you know, on the 19th I needed a particular tree and this would be an apple tree in that case and this the particular job I'm doing I'm going to say that it was already accepted but you have some options here accepted and accepted by Ray and it was accepted on the 18th I'm going to go ahead and click save. So that's my estimate for the particular job that I'm doing. And if I go to the customer center, I can look at the particular estimate there. I can also run a report. And I'm actually going to right click duplicate, have another tab over here. And let's look at some other reports or the report list. And I have estimates by customer, so I can do it that way as well. So I know I have my estimate. Now again, there's no real estimate to actual reporting, but I am going to use a profit and loss a lot, particularly for by the particular job. Profit and loss, and let's go ahead and set that one up already, and I want to collapse it, uh, sorry, customize it, to choose the particular job itself, which would be the landscaping work. Now it should have absolutely uh, nothing right now. Okay, let's look at some time entry. So I'm going to go to employees and single timesheet. And this would be for Nicola, and I'm going to choose a particular customer, landscaping work, and the service was lawn mowing, and they just did, you know, it was basically one hour, and I'm going to save that. Now, I could also do a weekly timesheet for Nicola, and I have this here, remember the billable boxes there, there's the customer field, there's the service, customer service, description, billable, and because I have a check, it's going to be able to pass through to an invoice. Now... Let me do another thing for her. This would be on the same, the landscaping work. And she's actually going to do the tree planting. And in this case, it took 1.5. Save. Now, why this matters? Now, time is just time until I put it on a posting document. But I could go ahead and just, you know, either enter a bill or quickly do a check expense for Nicola there. And we'll say the total was, you know, three hours. 
We'll say the lawn mowing. I think it was just the one. Let's, let's delete the line. Let's see here. So the lawn mowing was just the one hour. And then she also did some tree planting for an hour as well. And again, I can assign it to the customer. Landscaping work, landscaping work. And in this case, make it billable. In this case, I'm just going to report on it. Save, because the time's already going to go through for that. So I'm going to see it on the report. Now let's go to uh, suppliers. I'm going to enter a bill. And from Isaac, I want to actually bring in the apple tree. I'm just going to bring in one. Also going to assign this to landscaping work. And I'm going to make this one billable. I'm just showing you the different options. If I have an estimate, I'm going to bring the estimate over to the invoice, then really I wouldn't pass it through. But just so you, so you can see the charge on the invoice, and you're going to choose one or the other. But this is how you handle kind of job costing uh, within QuickBooks Online. And you need to be at the plus level. So I'm going to go ahead and click Save. Now let's go to Customer Invoice and choose that particular job, landscaping work. And you'll see that I have time charge that I want to add. I have some billable expense charges. I'm going to go ahead and add them there. That was for the tree. And let's go ahead and add the estimate as well. Click Add to Estimate. And then here is my revenue when I click Save. And finally, let's go back to, let's look at reports. And the profit and loss customize it for the particular name on report. Now you see I have some revenue as well as some expense against the job and what my net earnings are. So I'm doing pretty well, about 30,000 pesos on that job. So pretty profitable. But that's how you track your profitability of a job or project within QuickBooks Online. Remember those preferences for expenses made billable and passing that through or just being able to assign the job or the project or the customer to the expense on your cost documents. And remember the time preference as well. Create your estimate. You can add that to an invoice. There's no progress billing or progress invoicing, if you will. No estimate to actual, but I can definitely see the profitability of my job by just assigning the customer, project, or job to the cost transactions and time, incurring that time, changing it to cost, and, of course, invoicing the customer. Hope that was helpful. Have a great day.